Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? I'm doing great. I guess this is the Atlantic Monthly. Yes. We have a first edition of A True Story by Mark Twain. That is really neat. He always had those great lines. I've quit smoking a thousand times, you know, um, in between each cigar. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I think this Atlantic Monthly is a great piece of Americana. It's the first story in the Atlantic Monthly published by Mark Twain. The reason I'm selling it is because I think it's very rare, and I think it's worth some nice money. Well, it's the Atlantic Monthly. It was a very popular magazine. There was short stories, maybe a little bit of news, but it was um, something a little more than you got in your local newspaper, and people had subscriptions to it. Uh, Samuel Clemens actually took the pen name of Mark Twain when he was working in Virginia City, Nevada, right. during the giant silver rush we had here. So this was one of his first published articles in a magazine? This or? was the first story published in the Atlantic Monthly, but also one of the first published works by him. It's actually a monologue from a real slave that he overheard. It's his rendition of the travesties that occurred during the Civil War. All right, that's interesting. Mark Twain is one of America's greatest authors, and I've seen his works go for obscene money. But it's a magazine, so I don't know if that's a first edition or if there's only one edition. I'm just not sure on this. May I open it? Sure, certainly. So we're on page 591. Mm-hmm. There it is, Mark Twain. That's really cool. OK, how much are we looking to get out of it? Uh, this is in the original wraps, the original covers, nearly impossible to find. Uh, stick it around 2500 You know, I, I just don't know how collectible this is. You know, it's, it's a magazine. It's not a book. In general, magazines aren't worth a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Um, but it is really cool that it's got Mark Twain in it. So if you don't mind, I'd really like to call someone and have them take a look at it. Sure, that'd be fine. I will be right back. I will get her down here, and maybe we can figure something. Maybe you're right on the price. I don't know, but okay. it just seems a little stiff. Thank okay. you. It's exciting that an expert's coming in. I'd really like to hear what they have to say. There's a big market for just about anything Mark Twain. But since this is a magazine, I'm just not sure on this. And that's why I'm bringing Rebecca down to help me figure it out. This is it. It's not a book, though. It's a magazine. It's got Mark Twain in it. Very cool. In 1874, Twain was already very successful, very popular. He published a book about traveling as a sort of bumpkin American through Europe, and it was phenomenally successful. He became just the most hilarious American that anyone had ever heard of. And, and the Atlantic Monthly kind of came right after he had achieved fame, but before he had achieved more serious reputation. The Atlantic Monthly started in the 1850s, and it was meant to be sort of the height of literary criticism. It published all of the major American writers. And in the 1870s, the Atlantic was starting to lose subscriptions. So it was a mutually beneficial relationship. Twain was able to get the sort of mark of approval from the literary establishment, and the Atlantic Monthly was able to publish stories by one of the most sought-after authors in the nation. So what is it worth? Well, there are some magazines that can have some value. The Atlantic is particularly interesting, though, because this was the beginning of his serious reputation. But in the collectible world, to put it simply, magazines are just not as sexy as books. <laughs> I get it. It's true, though, there's a certain like cachet that a book has. Certainly, that applies to Mark Twain. What he's known for today, his literary reputation, are based on books. An individual volume like this will place under $100. Thanks. Okay. Yep. Well, I don't know if I agree on that, but I respect your opinion. Thank you. That's, that was very nice. I wish I could give this a higher value. I really do. But the fact of the matter is that the current market is just not interested in these types of materials, at least not to the point they are in books. So you were asking 2500 bucks, and Rebecca said it's less than 100 So uh, obviously, we're not going to do any business. OK. Thanks for bringing it in, man. It's pretty cool. Thank you. It's kind of disappointing that the value placed on it was so low. 